Hello, everyone. I'm not sure if you can hear me. Okay, nice. So today, uh, hello, this is Alan, and today we're going to talk about the troubleshooting. And we will talk from those three sections, you know, hardware, misorder image, and also the black screen. So no hardware, normally from the main interface software, we will say their control system is zero. It means no hardware. And this must be the most frequently uncorrected problem. So when the setup is done, we still say there's no, uh, no control system from the IFCT software. So what causes this? Usually we will check from the following except. So the common hardware reason for the no hardware problem, the first one, for, uh, the power, power cable connection. And the second one, the USB cable or the Ethernet cable between your PC or the controller are in the bad connection. And the last one, the, the connected interface are damaged. So and also there are some other reasons like next page. So this is the M control 4K back panel and it has two control signal transmission interface, the USB and also the RJ45. And if we want to cascade multiple devices to control at the same time, and only USB can do the loop to the next one because it has two ones out and another one in, so which means we can connect the, the, your laptop to, to the in and to, from the out to connect to the second one. It means if the control computer to the first controller use the Ethernet cable and the other controller in the cascade use the USB cable, the system can only recognize the first controller. So this is other reason for the no hardware issue. But if you have other reason that cause no hardware connection, you can also share with everyone in the chat window. The common software reason, the first one, the no IRC software version, maybe it's too old. So they cannot work with our new products. You can download from uh, the latest version from our official website. And the second one, the USB driver has not installed well sometime. And last one, if you using the Ethernet cable, connect instead of the USB cable. Sometimes the IP address of the real PC and the controller are not in the same segment. So there are three possibilities. So you can, we, we can also click reconnect from here. So after a power circle or the re-plugged cable to reconnect the system. Here, I want you to remember to notice if your software is customers, customized version, do not upgrade it. So which means you have problem, but you can still you cannot still the upgraded version of the software. You can contact with our tech support team. So we will help you to give you the solution. So for the second possibility, how do we know whether the USB driver of your PC is normal? We can go to our computer and select here the device manager, and we will say. Uh, from this part, the universal server bus controller. And we can find the USB port study. So if there is a yellow as commission mark behind, or there is no corresponding port at all, it means the problem must come from the USB driver. So all we need to do is to reinstall the RCT software because the process will install the Cosper reading USB driver automatically. Or you can also reinstall the driver separately. As we know, some controller like M Control 4K can support the IP connection using the Ethernet cable. So if the software cannot find the controller, please check the IP region of your computer. 
So from the Ethernet, here we select TCP IP v4. Then we will have the new interface. We can, we can customize the IP address. So the default IP of the controller is 192.168.0.10, uh, which means if we want to make sure they can communicate with, with each other, we can set like 192.168.0. whatever this number to make sure they have the same segment. And even the IP has been changed. You, I mean, the, the hardware, the controller has been changed. It's convenient to be found on the front panel of the controller. So the next one, the image on the screen is disordered. Such as this picture, each cabinet showed normal and the image is duplicated. What could be the what could be the possible reason? So maybe we forgot to send the screen connection, the mapping, or even you say uh, you send it to the hardware, but you forgot to save it. It means after the power circle, it will lose everything. Or another reason you are configured the screen connection with wrong output port. So from the software, maybe we use the port number one, but the real connection, we use the port number two. The last one, make sure the video input has been connected to your, uh, to your, con uh, to your controller. Because if, if they disconnected, maybe sometime we already enable the pre-store image. So it will show same contents for each cabinet. Uh, this one shown, each cabinet show normal, but image on the screen is misorder. So what could be the possible reason for this one? Let's see. If we see the screen like this, we can confirm that our receiving card parameter is okay because for each panel, each, uh, each cabinet is shown no more. So the issue is about our screen connection settings. We should go to the software to check the mapping is, uh, it's the same as the real cable connection. For, the, for our, our uh, AMO service reserving card, we can use the mapping function, which means we, you can see the number on each panel. All we need to do is just follow this number, this order to make our mapping from the software. So this is a feature for the AMO service reserving card. Now let's say the last one, the blackout issue. This is uh, terrible and make people confused. I do everything as normal, but the screen still be black. So when we meet the black issue, we may say those three situation. The whole screen is black. The part of screen are black, including the specific cabinets or the module is black, or the sending card the sending card output area is, pro, is black. So the, in the middle of the picture, this is the sending card output area black. And we can see from here, this is the, maybe the module or the cabinet is black. So what could cause the blackout issue? If we want to look at the issue, we should take a look about the control system structure again. So the control PC is connect to the sending card through the USB or the Ethernet cable. Then the sending card is connect to the LED display through the network cable from different port. And at the same time, the computer provided the video source to the controller, to the sending card. But sometimes we need the video processor to deal with the video source before providing it to the sending card. 
we can add another video processor here. Regarding the display end, it's composed of many cabinets and the and there is a reserving card and hop card inside the cabinets connect to the LED module through the flat cable. So all this factor could be possible reason for the blackout issue. So how we troubleshoot this issue? Here I have a table. Actually, this uh, blackout issue could be divided into full screen or part of the screen. Let's take a look at the full screen blackout issue, uh, situation first. So we can see there's some partition course. The screen power, maybe sometimes it's just power off, it's very easy to figure out. Or the power supply is broken, we, which means we, we need to repair or change the power supply. And also, don't forget, maybe we just give the zero percent value for the brightness. So we, we need increased brightness. And maybe before we uh, finish the settings, maybe we enable the screen control to send the blackout order. All we need to know to do is to turn it to the normal. And something similar with the, the screen power, the internet cable may be disconnected or it's broken. And also the sending card, the power is off. Yeah. Also, for example, if we use the HDMI, connect to the controllers, but we select the DVI input. Obviously, there's nothing on the screen. So select the corresponding input source. Or the, send, uh, the input source is broken. We, we have to change the sending card or repair it. And sometimes, as I mentioned before, we have another video source, the video processor, to give the video source, fit the video source. We need to check whether we gave them the data to the screen or there's something wrong with the cable connection. For the capability issue, you need to pay attention. For my experience, sometimes we maybe we use the video processor from other brands and they may cause the capability issue because some video processor cannot give us standard video uh, source for format. Okay, the last one, the, reser uh, the reserving card. There are just only two. One, make sure you have the correct RCFG file, the configuration file, or have the correct firmware. Let's see how we do the troubleshooting for the full screen blackout by using the indicator light from the receiving card. I think everyone knows from the receiving card we have two light, two indicator light, one is red, one is green. So the red, if it's on, means the power is okay. There's no power issue. Maybe we need to check other possible reason. But if the red indicator light is off, easy to know, we, we have to change the power supply. So from the receiving card, green, green indicator light. For example, if, if, if it flashing slowly, like one time per five seconds, it means data connection failure, the RJ45 Ethernet cable connection failure. We need to check, sorry. Uh, we need to check the sending card or the Ethernet cable. So the, uh, the problem must come from those two, one of those two. Okay. So if it, the green light fast flash three times after five seconds, we should check the video source. It means, this one, it means there's no video input. Okay. 
So this is the how we do the troubleshooting from the indicator lab. I think my colleague Rob already introduced this one from the previous presentation. Then we will find the solution and fix it. Now it's the part of the screen blackout. There are no much big difference. We just focus from here. From the part of the screen blackout, we need to consider about the hard board, the hard car, a uh, hard car. Maybe the hub car is broken. We need to change the new hub car, of course, or the connection problem. And also pay attention about the flat cable. Sometimes it's disconnected. So there are no much big difference between the full screen or part of the screen blackout. So after this presentation, we will send you the PowerPoint later and also the QA document. Maybe you, 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 you can keep this table just in case sometime you have this issue, you can just check them one by one. I think if you have this one, there's no problem anymore. Uh, so for the part of the screen blackout, let's say, for example, if it happens on the specific output, Part of the sending card, we can we can do this way. We we can exchange to another output port. But after exchanged, we say the issue stay on the same output. We can we know the Ethernet cable. There's no problem. We have to check the maybe they there. The, the issue came from the screen power or the sending card. But after exchange switched to a new output, it means the, the cable, the, the, the issue came from the cable. And what happens if the issue comes from the specific cabinets? It means we need to check those factor. The power supply, either not a cable, receiving card, and also the firmware or the RCFG file. So if we uh, we don't know the issue is not confirmed, we can do like exchange the issue receiving card with normal one. So after change, the issue switch to the new cabinet. It means. The, the problem must come from the receiving card. But the issue stay on the same cabinets. It means the hardware or the hub card must have problem. Okay, so this is the way how we know where is the problem. Or the, sorry, there's another one. Maybe the happens, the issue happens on the specific module. All we need to do is just check the flat cable, the hub card, or the power. So uh, this just gave you the way to know how to locate the problem, and it's help you to quick locate the problem and fix it. At least we know where is the problem. If you cannot fix it, you can contact with our tech support team, and we will help you. Uh, so uh, this is all about for the troubleshooting introduce, introduction. So my, now my colleague Gilbert 